guys, how's it going? Killstrike here. Brings me a video, and in this random, you know, kind of tutorial video here, I'm, I'm going to be um, teaching you guys how to rotoscope something in Adobe After Effects CC or Creative Cloud uh, 2017. So uh, I kind of, I'm not like super familiar with the rotoscoping. Like I'm not like a master at it, but I know it well enough so that I can, you know, like teach someone else how to do it, and you know, the results are, you know pretty decently good so um you know just thought i would tutorial for you guys and uh yeah cool so here's um after effects cc 2017 um just regular layout here i have uh some you know videos here i have right here um already made composition 30 fps or 29.97 so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag your your um like your clip whatever you want to rotoscope you're gonna drag that into here. In this case, it's the uh, it's my Minecraft demo thing. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool. Um, so basically, uh, all I did was I did I was just walking and I kind of wanted an explosion, like a visual effect, you know, to happen in the background. And I wanted to rotoscope him out so that you know the f like that the explosion was behind him, not not like in front of him. And yeah, I mean. Also, if you try to mask out this whole character, like every frame, that is gonna take a long time, and that's not the fastest way to do it. Yeah, let's get started. So, um, what you're gonna do is you're going to um, kind of it's like a starting point if you want to. So, I have mine right about there. So I'm gonna uh, control that, or yeah, Control Shift D, and then to like just split it. And I'm gonna come right over here. I'm gonna say, okay, I kind of want to end right about there let's say like five seconds of it right and then I'm gonna delete those put that right back here and then I'm gonna drag this one just so that I don't have a lot of extra uh, time there right. okay perfect yeah so, um, so this is kind of like the basic you know walking thing so you just walk in just fine you know um, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit control D now the reason why I do that is because when I was first trying it out and trying to see like in rotoscope something, I did it only using one layer. And if you do that, then when you rotoscope your character or like whatever you're rotoscoping, that is the only thing that will sit like that is the only thing in that layer. There's no background, there's no nothing, it's just what you selected in the rotoscope is that layer itself. You know, so there's nothing around that, it's just it's outlining your character. You know, and that's just kind of what it is. But you don't want that, and on, on like your base plate, you know, you you always want to um, duplicate it so that you have this entire background, and then your character completely outlined himself in the front, so you can put in the middle the the effect that you want, and it look really good. So that's basically that. So in the top layer right here, um, you're gonna want to go to uh, the rotor brush tool um, up here. Sorry, like the yeah thing. All right, and then you're gonna double click on that, and it's gonna bring you to this second tab or section here, and you have all this stuff right here. It's a little confusing-ish, but you know, it, it's just gonna, you know, it's, it, it works. So um, you're gonna wanna zoom in on your character, space bar, left click to pan around. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna left click, and yeah, always start at frame one or whatever frame, you know, you're gonna rotoscope, um, you know, in. But uh, you're just going to left click and drag, and you're just kind of going to outline your character here. Not like super perfectly, but just the, you know, just like the, like the, the like the majority of the shape, you know, just okay. His arm here, and it comes down to his legs, and then kind of up to his arm again. Going to outline the entire character here, and it'll do a really good job, kind of, you know, hopefully, um, of just kind of out outlining the character there. And it, again, it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect. I mean, for me, I'm not like a perfect kind of guy. I mean, like it can just, it'll be, you know, it can be a little bit, you know, weird, but I mean, not, nothing crazy. It just needs to look good. So, um, yeah, but if you're like that kind of perfect person, then, um, you know, definitely go in and, you know, tune the uh, rotoscoping thing around. So, um, I kind of have like the entire thing kind of set up here. So all, all I'm going to do is I'm gonna press the space bar. Um, and, and it's just gonna play out predicting and kind of matching the uh, like the outline of the rotoscope and it's trying, it's trying to match that exact same frame to all the other, to all the frames after it right so it, it'll only do like a second or so of it um, and then
and then what we, what we can do is you can go to the frame where it's like completely off because it's like okay i'm kind of you know the rotoscoping function is like okay now just re-outline them and do it again so we're going to do the same thing again and however long you want to rotoscope it for is is how long you're going to roto like is how long like the clip is right like so um yeah so we're just gonna um uh outline the character again here do the same thing did a really good job there actually okay there good as bottom of the um of the hand there do that I, i'm not gonna do the shadow it's just not like part of the character really but um very circle shadow it's not definitely not that okay uh, so yeah, and then you're, yeah, just gonna outline them here. I think, I mean, yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Um, a little bit of the head here is missing. I might kind of put in just a little bit of more. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna press space bar. That's gonna play out just a little bit. And again, it's gonna stop. It's gonna freeze up kind of, not freeze, but just kind of rendering the, you know, more of the shot here. And as you can see, it, it, it's really starting to look pretty darn good. So, uh, yeah. And then you're going to come right to the next frame where it's, again, completely off. You're just going to do this basically, I think, you know, get the point of it. You're just going to keep on doing this for each single, you know, section for as long, you know, as you want. And, uh, yeah, so I might just do two more of these. I might go in time-lapse mode here. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to finish this guy up. Okay, so um, basically right now I have about one, two, like three and a half-ish um, seconds of rotoscoping, you know, done. And uh, it, is, it is not perfect at all. Like, it, I mean, it's decent. Um, yeah, as you can see, like, parts right about maybe here on, like, probably like, part of, like, you know, the hand is, you know, cut off around there. But, you um, know, other than that, you know, just a really good kind of, I guess, you know, rotoscope. Um, so now let's add in the effect, right? But um, before we do that, I just want to show you guys right here, again, you know, what you rotoscope is the outline, what is in front, right? And so you can easily go back there and just kind of outlines that single character. And then this is just a, a complete, that's just the background. Okay. So now let's uh, add in the effect. So if we go back to our project here and go back to the comp one and we go to the footage of the area of explosion. I got this from uh, Footage Crate. They are freaking fantastic. I, I really like their uh, website, really cool effects. And already you can see if you put them in the middle because so this, this is the background. This top layer is what you just rotoscope the character in, right? If you put it in the middle, it'll happen in, in front of the background, but behind this character, right there. Boom. That looks awesome. Really high quality, too. I like it. Um, so that's, you know, that's kind of, you know, how to kind of do it. Around, of course, this, is not, this right here does not look realistic at all. I mean, like, it's just going down and above, and it's not tracked or anything like that. If you actually wanted to, you could go to the background, you can 3D track the footage, add a solid and like one of the three points right here, rotate it up so it's facing, you know, you or whatever, and then, you know, alt left click, you know, the footage from here onto the solid, and so it, and so that, you know, solid will become this, this effect, so it's, you know, it's tracked to it, and then it'll kind of happen behind him in the right position. So you could do that if you want to, but this is just kind of like, you know, tutorial test right here, and uh you know it looks really cool it's kind of how to rotoscope something if you were just wondering uh, i tried to make this tutorial you know fun and quick and everything so if this if this helps you guys please leave a like down below really do you know um, appreciate that and uh subscribe for more content thank you guys so much for watching uh let me know if you guys want you know if you have if you guys have any questions about rotoscoping or anything in after effects or whatever leave that down in the comments below um but other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya